My name is Clay, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a quick demo of how to use our tool, Finna, to track your finances. So Finna is a modern financial management platform that allows you to track your finances in ways that are unique to you. So as you guys can see here on my screen, I have a page pulled up, and these tracking scenarios are being populated based on my live financial data. So as you can see here, I can create a bunch of different custom scenarios based on things that I actually care about, and these pages are super flexible. I'll show you guys what I mean. So on this page, I can actually type text, I can create notes, and I can put whatever I think is useful to managing my finances, but the cool part is I can add blocks. So let me add a few as an example. I'll add average monthly expenses, I'll add a emergency fund calculation, and maybe I'll lay these things out side by side. But the cool thing is I can actually go in and I can create my own custom tracking scenarios. So if I wanted to create a single number that's tracking my bills and subscriptions from last month, I could go and do that. So I'm gonna go to the previous month in terms of the date range. I'm gonna calculate the total transaction amount that was spent, and I'm gonna filter it for the category subscriptions and bills in this case. So now I have this block and I can title it bills and subscri subscriptions, subscriptions and it's being tracked for last month, and it's just pulling in my personal accounts in this case. So now I have this beautiful tracking block that I've created, and again, you can imagine how you can create your own little pages here and share these with other people and or track things for yourself. When you first sign into Finna, you're gonna notice a concept at the top called profiles. Profiles is where you connect and clean your live financial data. We'll actually allow people to have multiple profiles in case you wanna split out your accounts between personal and business or maybe you have a family member. When you come into Finna, you can click this add account button and you can add banks, investment accounts, loan accounts, other assets, other liabilities, and you can do this either using our live connectors or by adding manual accounts. Once you have these added, you'll see here I've added some credit cards and some checking accounts and then uh, a manual retirement account in this case. I can come into my transactions tab and I can see all of my transactions being populated from all the different accounts. I can filter by a bunch of different things. I can set different date ranges. I can import or export. I can refresh these. But most importantly, I can change my categories uh, to make sure that all of my transactions are being bucketed into the proper categories. We also allow for things like excluding transactions, changing the date on transactions, adding notes and descriptions, splitting transactions, or most importantly, creating rules so that your transactions are automatically categorized into the proper buckets uh, so that your reports make sense. Once your transactions are all populated in here, I always recommend going to the categories tab and making sure that all of your categories, categories are set the way that you want. We allow you to group categories together. You can create as many custom categories as you would like, and we split our categories into income, expenses, and transfers. So that's how Finno works in a nutshell. I'm gonna show you guys one last cool thing and then I'll let you guys dive in and use the tool for yourself. So if I come back to my new page here, maybe I wanna ask a question and I wanna say, mm, how much did I spend on groceries this year? That's a good question. As you guys can see here, it gave me an answer of $3,939 and it says, how much did I spend on groceries this year? It gave me the current year's date range it has selected all of my accounts in this case. Maybe I wanna just deselect the business accounts. Um, and then I can also see here that it pulls the total transaction amount where the category is groceries and the area is expenses. So that works. As one last cool thing, we have a bunch of templates that you can use inside of Fena already. But if I wanted to, I could go and share this template with other people. I can make the link public. I can generate fake numbers so nobody can see my actual financial numbers. And then I can copy this link and share it publicly just like you could um, an Excel template, uh, a Notion template, or a Word doc. That's the magic of Finna. You can create your own financial tracking experience and be able to share that with other people using your live, clean financial data. We hope you guys enjoyed this and we hope to see you guys on the inside. Go sign up, totally free to get started, and we'll see you soon.